Hello and good afternoon and welcome to a new update video from me. So basically today I'm just going to kind of cover what I have achieved um, on the road to getting 99 Slayer, what my bank is doing um, and what my future plans are from here. Um, so if we just jump away into the stats, uh, you can see now that I'm up to 2254 total level um, and I'm 193 mil XP. So I've been making some decent gains towards max and stuff. Um, I got 99 attack uh, just a day or two before I got 99 slayer, which was great. Um, another one ticked off, obviously. I then moved on to starting strength, which I'm going to be doing um, shortly. I'm not going to talk about how I'm doing that. I'll just go through all my stats quickly. Uh, defense, I'm just on 97 now. I need 1.6 mil for 99 defense, which I'll be getting quite soon. Um, I'll be going on to Ganos for that, obviously. Uh, then below, I am 2.4 mil range to 99, so I'm 96 range. Um, I haven't really moved too much on prayer. I obviously was getting, you know, little bits of prayer from Bone Crusher and Urns whilst doing um, Slayer. So I'm up to 282k, obviously, to 94, which is great. Need to do 95 at some point, but it's not a major priority. Obviously, I had 99 magic. Um, not really changed in too many of these other skills. Um, construction and Hunter, I've been trying to do, uh, what's it called? Uh, the Tears of Guthix each week, trying to get that going um, and work towards a little bit doing the Hunter mini game each day. Um, hit points, I'm up to 16.4 mil, which is crazy really to think that only a little while ago I was getting 99 uh constitution can't call it hit points now now i'm at 16.4 mil um so it just shows how quickly that does go up um agility getting close to 82 not really changed on the herb i really need to start doing war bands again because i yeah i just haven't been doing them since they changed it so i really need to get into that again uh thieving hasn't really changed much it's still on the card soon for me to be uh doing pyramid plunder and getting 99 uh, same with crafting, not really done too much there, but I have uh, recently joined a new clan, which I'll talk about in a bit, and so I'll be doing capping uh, for crafting XP each week at the Citadel, so that should help me with a little boost for a while. Um, obviously, 99 Slayer, lovely to see that green bar 100% there. Um, Hunter, as I say, I've done a little bit recently, just with the mini game. Um, I'm quite close to a level, which I'll probably get today. Mining smithing not really changed i think i may have got a fishing level um i'm up to 14 over 14 mil cooking now which is cool don't really know where that's come from probably effigies um i think i got a wood cutting level yeah i did uh, about three or four hundred k wood cutting one day when i was having a bit of a, a break from slay because i was just a bit hammered out from doing it all um so yeah i got a wood cutting level need to get that up to 90 at least and down here this is the big change that's happened in the last couple of days um you can see i had my level set to 88 which i've got i've been doing some summoning so i'm just going to set a new level target and you'll know what it is then which is 96. um i think i've pretty much got it banked um in the charms that i've got and supplies and stuff as you can see i've got a spirit kayak so you might have already worked out i was doing summoning um yeah so if we look at my xp counter you can see i've done 3.5 mil summoning so far which is quite a lot, I guess. Um, it's not been too much of a pain. I've uh, just been doing the Spirit Kayak method, obviously, with uh, Ring of Kinship over to Damonheim. I was doing it with um, dueling rings, but to be honest, I just kept forgetting to replace them, and it was just costing me time, so I stopped doing that. But yeah, so that's really nice to see that I've made a good bit of progress in that respect. So for strength, um, what I'm going to be doing to train strength once I finish my charms, I should have 96, um, and then I'm going to finish off all my combat skills, basically, so strength, defense, and ranged. Uh, what I'm going to do for strength, I think, is I'm going to do quite a lot of the XP at Frost Dragons, um, and hopefully by that stage, because I'll have a yak, I will be able to bank the bones. I did, for a time, think about actually bone crushing the bones, um, just obviously because I can stay there indefinitely and that'll really help. And obviously it'll be really nice prayer XP as well. Still kind of trying to decide what I'm going to do. I think I might do some of it that way and then bank some of the other bones just for some money. Um, 
still kind of trying to decide that. But yeah, basically I'm going to do Frost Dragons because uh, apparently they die pretty easily now in ESC. So that'll be um, that'll be a quick method. Um, defense, obviously I'm going to go back to Gano's. I'm probably going to do that first once I finish... Uh, once I finish doing my charms, I will probably go straight to Gano's and just kick that 1.6 mil off um, and get 99 defense. Then for range, I've been umming and ahhing what I was going to do for range um, because I sort of thought for a time that I ought to do Water Fiends and get a whole host of charms, which hopefully might see me through to, uh, to 99 summoning. Not entirely sure I'm going to do that now, actually. Because whilst I obviously need the charms, um, for me it's no good having the charms if I haven't got the money. So what I'm contemplating doing is actually going and doing Eviancy's uh, God Wars for the uh, for the Adamant Bars noted, because they're obviously quite a good money spinner and it's something I've done in the past. They're really easy to kill. They die quite quickly and XP, you know, if you're using abilities, is I believe 300k plus an hour, which is, you know, which is really good XP. Um, so I still haven't quite decided what I'm going to do with those two, what, which of those two I'm going to do. I might even do a combination of the both because obviously I'm going to be short of 99 charms, um, 99 summoning charms, but, you know, I can easily get those in the future. And I think for now, once I get a yak, I'm not going to be doing summoning for a good while because i don't really see the point in getting up to Titan. Uh, it's just not worth it these days. The special attack just doesn't hit like it used to. So once I've got my combat sc stats all ticked off, I think the next thing that I'll probably move on to um, will be thieving. Uh, and I'm hopefully just going to razz through that and get 99 thieving, get that out of the way. Uh, just do a pyramid plunder, obviously. Um, you know, not no life or anything crazy, but just... You know, take a good few days and get it done and then I will probably move on to fishing and get 90 fishing uh, for two reasons one because I do need to start working on some of my slow skills and fishing is a pain in the ass but the other reason is I need it for ports because I need to finish off doing ports properly um, so I think I will move on to doing 90 fishing um, and then after that I'll probably do the same with woodcutting, just get that up to 90, uh, because woodcutting will be a nice break, you know, do it IV, dead AFK, um, so that's probably my immediate plans, um, and in and amongst that I'll probably be doing a good few trips to Gano's just to keep making a bit of money and stuff, uh, and stocking up cash-wise for my buyables. Um, I am going to be doing the Hunter mini game twice every day, which should get me a good few nice levels in Hunter. Uh, construction, I'm just going to leave and, you know, leave that to um, possibly to Warbands if there's nothing else for me to pick when I'm doing them. And obviously Tears of Gothics, but I, I do need to get back into doing Warbands. I, I, you know, I really need to get up to, to 96 Herb. That's 2.2 mil. Um, and obviously if I can get up to 96 in Warbands, that, that'll be great. I don't really want to have to spend the money. Um, you know, I know I've got to make all the extremes to then make overloads, which is fine, but I'd rather uh, do it a slightly cheaper way. And then once I've got that up to 96 with warbands, I can move on to things like mining and smithing and construction. Um, in the back of my mind, um, I've been thinking about doing some runecrafting, but it wasn't all that long ago that I did, you know, like 12 levels at runespan. And to be honest, I don't really think I can face going back there just yet, so I'm probably not going to do that for a little while. Um, so I think stats-wise, that's kind of all I've got to say, really, um, and my future plans and stuff. Uh, Ports-wise, I'm not really sure there's loads to talk about with ports. Um, I'll just check the missions I've got today. Basically, I am obviously saving up my trade good resources, you know, for both. Uh, I've got my lacquer and my plate coming along nicely, and I know that I'm going to get a good wadge of plates certainly from story missions that I haven't done yet um, and again with lacquer once I've got enough plate I will then move on to trying to single out the lacquer missions each day um, and you know build the things that attract the the right adventurer which is the the convict um, so yeah that's kind of where I'm up to with ports got a I built some, um, if we go into our scrolls, I, I got all the scrolls for the Vampirism um, Scrimshaw, which is nice. I built three of those because I, I had a load of bones. And now I'm obviously going to move on to the Death Lotus, so I'll do that now. We're trying to get those scroll pieces uh, eventually. Um, Mission-wise, just see what I've got today. 
There we go. And a nice... I'll just send this one out. Uh, I've been quite lucky recently. I seem to have been getting a lot of um, uh, XP missions for both Slayer and um, for Slayer and uh, Herblor, which has been great. Which has obviously been kind of saving me quite you know some money in the time that I've been doing these. So that's kind of been really helpful and nice to see. I'll just add in something else, get this a bit higher. There we go. So this guy, let's take you off and pop you in. There we go. Pop you on. And away we go. So we'll send that mission out now. Yeah, it's been really great that I've been kind of getting a load of these XP missions um, and my special missions each day, which has kind of really been saving me, um, yeah, getting me some nice Slayer when I've been doing it, obviously, and indeed Herb as well. So it's kind of been good to see that coming in on top of, you know, what I've been training myself. Um, again, I need to probably think at some point about which uh, icons and things like that I have built and which adventures I want to attract and, and whatnot, just with ports going forward. But yeah, crew-wise, um, my crew are... I've leveled up quite a bit now again. So I've got a lot more level 10 characters, especially in seafaring, they've kind of caught up a bit. I've got 10, three nines, where's the other one? And one eight. Uh, nearly got all of my morale units up to 10. Uh, all my captains are 10. Nearly got my second Oxhead horse face to 10. And my... Again, my three ferocious tigers are there for a level 10. Oh no, two level 9. Yeah, so eventually I need to replace this feral chimera and the two sea witches with more ox head horse face. But I just never seem to get them every day. Uh, <laughs> watch me get one now. But I keep scrolling through all my crew and I just never, ever, ever seem to be able to attract um, ox head horse faces. So if anyone has any tips about how to get them... <laughs> That would be really useful. I think it's just blind luck, but never mind. So yeah, I think account-wise, that's um, that's pretty much what's been going on. If I just whisk through my bank quickly, uh, nothing's really changed here. Just runes and some of the items I use occasionally as my warband stuff. Uh, I've got two crystal triskelion fragments pieces things. Got a load of those flower bush things. Don't really know what to do with those now. It's kind of finished. Uh, moving on to my sort of combat tab, whatever, uh, bits of food at the top, teleports as ever, that's kind of all my, the gear that I've been using for Slayer, um, probably need to get the uh, Armidal uh, helmet back at some point, because obviously can't use the Slayer one now, because I'm not, won't be on task, uh, there are the three scrimshaws I built, which was cool, so this stuff won't be seeing uh, too much use for a while, I don't think, apart from my subjugation for Mage. Um, possibly the Sea Singer if I decide to go back to Virago for a bit. Uh, skilling tab, again, nothing really changed in there. As you can see, you've got some anagrogic ort now that I'm uh, back in, in clan, which I'll talk about. Uh, junk tab, just still full of crest stuff I don't know what to do, and all my uh, bonus XP items. Uh, the charms I've been using up, so you can see that I've got rid of all my golds now. Um, I'm w over halfway through my crims. Uh, I've done... Uh, about 2k of the greens, haven't touched the blues yet, um, and these are some of the uh, pendants that I've got saved up and some of the familiars that I still use. Um, cape tab, so there's my Tenny Vet cape, five year one, and these are just the skill capes that I've got in the order that I got them, so obviously cooking first, fletching, farming, fire making, hit points, magic, attack, and slayer. And then soon to come will be defense and then range, so it'd be nice to add another couple in there. Um, this is the remains of my sort of drops tab, which is actually just turned from here onwards into my summoning tab for a while. As you can see, I was using those dueling rings, but that kind of got annoying. Um, I need to go use these chewed bones. Uh, I doubt I'll get a dragon full helm, but I need to go use those up on the uh, barbarian thing. Um, I've got these 17 long bones, all from Slayer, that I need to go and turn in for uh, construction XP, which would be helpful and then these are the items that I kind of kept you know 900 dragon bones that I'll obviously use for prayer and some uh, at some point uh, a few torsals there and don't really know where those lanterdimes came from potions tab 
uh, I've kind of got my extremes kind of added in now, just in four and three doses, because that's all I've been using. Haven't actually made any extreme range potions yet, uh, so I need to do that. And I'm running a little low on super antifies, so I've got to make some of those. And my Gano tab, uh, I've sort of dropped that back to two of everything, just so I can take one out for placeholders. When I go to Gano's next, um, oh, that's my familiar gone. Money wise, what have I got? Temel in the cash pack, uh, cash stack obviously got quite a lot of money in summoning supplies and stuff at the moment uh, between this stuff what's in the GE uh, these shards here as well so I'm just going to keep doing all the pouches that I can and then trade them all back for shards or sell them all back uh, whatever I'm going to do and then I'll see what I've got left money wise at the end uh, so I think that'll do for the end of this video um, as ever any questions any comments do let me know and hopefully I will have another video out for you probably tomorrow.